What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going for our first drive, not mine, but yours in our new Z01 Camaro. Before we kick this video off, I'm going to give a very warm welcome to all of the new faces out there in the audience. Personally, thank you so much for helping us grow. But if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on so you do not miss further content. Let's get this video started. Let's kick it off with a cold start. Let's go. had the car for a couple of weeks now and i've been loving every single second of it i gotta tell you coming out of a mustang you know that was uh, pretty much really built guys this is a much different car a lot of people think that the camaro you can't really see out of i gotta tell you though man i really have no issues with this car whatsoever because i know the s550 like the back of my hand honestly with my eyes closed but this is kind of still new to me Let's find some back roads this is what this car really does well is wheels you know the suspension i chose the base zl1 over like the 1le mostly because it would be a better daily driver i think you know when i got this this is an 18 i bought it with 10,000 miles it's already been ceramic coated it's already got a boiler exhaust which might actually be changing and it also has a rotafab intake pretty common stuff but we're gonna take this uh, right hand turn and uh Try to respect the speed limit as much as possible. There's some fast turns up here. Still on kind of a cold tire. It is chilly outside, but uh, we do want to have some fun. Engine temperature. That was uh, almost triple digits right there in about two seconds. Grips, it just digs in. Look at this. Uh, I've got to slow down. Cars are right. All right, here we go. Love, love, love the handling characteristics of this car. I had a performance package Mustang GT, and again, I don't want to make this a, a, a video comparison between the two, but I do have to make this known. You know, a, a PP1 car, PP2 car, and the Mustang doesn't hold a candle to this. This is more related to like a GT350 or GT500, more so probably a GT500. You got heavier duty suspension in here, um, and you do have an automatic versus like the DCT and the Shelby 500. Whereas the GT350, as we all know, is a you know true manual transmission, which unfortunately these days is kind of going away. I could have tried to hunt down a ZL1 with the manual, but this 10 speed and this ZL1 is so good, I I just I had to do it. I, I really love the way that it shifts around. It doesn't hunt for gears, it's very powerful. I, I love how it upshifts, downshifts. We're gonna play with the paddles here in a second, but um, very different, very, very different than the uh, 10 or 80 in the Mustang GT. I'm gonna put it on a track. The track uh, drive mode in this car is, the Magnaride firms up so much, it's almost unlivable. The steering gets really stiff. Uh, most of the times I just leave it in sport and you can adjust all that stuff independently, which is really cool, but uh, track the track drive mode is very aggressive through the turn and this is crazy on the brakes hard there's something up in front of us oh we got traffic right in front of us man every single time all right we're gonna have to find another road S550 Mustangs and they all handle really well but this is again night and day different the seating position in here the ergonomics and everything are just so much different so much different this feels and dare I say more like a race car you're seated down more in the car you have these high door sills again visibility doesn't affect me whatsoever um, I actually enjoy except for the a pillars they are kind of long and fat so you kind of have to move your head around to uh, you know Gauge where you're turning, but not a big deal, honestly. No, I'm not, 
I'm less upright, I guess, like in a chair position. So I'm a little bit more out, if that makes any sense, uh, which makes me feel a little bit more connected to the car. This feels more sporty, if that makes any sense whatsoever. If you've never driven a, a 16 Camaro, I encourage you to do so. You know, get, get past the reviews where people are talking about this or that, or you can't see out of them. Like guys, if you go drive one, you're gonna get adjusted to it within uh, two minutes. I mean, it's really fast. Yeah, that shift. Downshift. Downshift. Upshift. 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 Okay, so that's a lot faster. This is kind of my real first time playing with some of these features. I know I've owned the car for a couple weeks, but I've just been like saving a lot of this for the camera. Put it back in auto. Um, that's fast. That's a lot faster than the 10 r in the Mustang. Now, not as fast as a DCT, obviously, but um, for a conventional type transmission, that's really good. Um, and to me, a good operating transmission really makes the car. Now, again, if you have a manual transmission, then it's all up to you, and arguably that could be more fun. But again, you know, somebody like me, guys, I was in the Army for 14 years. I, I got out because I got hurt. You know, I'm a combat veteran. Two trips to Afghanistan, two trips to Iraq. Both Iraq trips were 15 months each. So a lot of time deployed. And guys, I hurt. My body hurts sometimes. And I just don't want to shift around. Uh, I can. I enjoy it. I just choose not to in a daily driver. Let's give it some gas. slower than my thousand horsepower Mustang and a lot of people don't really get the fact like why did you sell that car well, I mean I've already covered that in other videos I'll link them down below if you want to go check them out like why do we give up you know such an awesome car that we had built over three years for something like this it's a little bit slower and there's a lot of reason to it uh, it's not just the power in my opinion that makes the car it's the driving experience and uh, you know in here I'm surrounded surrounded by Alcantara and leather comfort um, you know creature comfort comforts uh the tech you know it's it's everywhere this to me is a huge upgrade over the mustang that i came from as far as comfort and features and uh just the aesthetics of everything all the curves everywhere the way that uh you know gm has really put their mind together back in 2017 when this came out uh, or really 2016 when the SS came out was uh, just the way that everything looks. I remember being in Afghanistan, Veal had a, a little bit of downtime and I actually watched the reveal of the reveal of the SS, the new Camaro, this the Gen 6 Camaro when it came out and my jaw just dropped because, you know, a lot of times these, these new cars come out and we're all kind of like, I don't really like that thing. You know what I mean? For me, when I saw the reveal, I was just like blown away. It's kind of perfect, honestly. This is not the biggest blow in the world. You know, I do want to maybe upgrade to like the Magnuson 2650 on this car at some point. There are a lot of modifications and things that we're gonna do with this car. So again, subscribe to the channel because I like to do things a little bit different than maybe most and really bring like uh, detailed videos uh, that a lot of people on the internet just really don't do. And you know, maybe you care, maybe you don't, but for me being an old army guy, you know, I like the fine details the stuff that gets, you know, easily missed. And you know, to me, that's really important. And that's kind of like what I like to translate on camera as best I can. So, um, you know, my perspective on things, especially on different cars, is going to be a little bit different than probably most out there, uh, you know, on, on YouTube doing their thing, which is fine. You know, everybody, every content creator makes their own, their own videos their own way. I just like to do things a little bit more in depth. To get up here to a straightaway, I do want to, I do want to give it some more gas and uh, feel this thing, feel the power that this car has. So yes, it is a little bit slower than what I'm coming from, but honestly, in this car, I'm not missing it too much. And uh, that should speak volumes coming from a quad digit horsepower car to something that's almost half of that. I don't know, let's get around this bend and we're gonna give it some more gas. It's 
plenty enough power, guys. It's plenty enough power to really sink you back into the seat and just enjoy the car. You don't have to have a thousand horsepower to enjoy a car like this. The handling, the, the feel of this car, the, the way it, it just feels on the road, the grip, um, the ergonomics. I kind of like the cockpit fighter jet feeling of this car. I really do. Uh, yes, it, it's definitely a smaller interior. It's got things about it I don't like. It's got long doors. A couple other things that I would change on the car. I can make a video in the future about things that I don't like that might be a little bit different than what you've heard other people talk about. Again, details. Right again. There's nobody in front of me this time. pounding <laughs> that was really fast <laughs> fast and composed um i'll never find the limits of this car this thing is a way better driver than i <laughs> wow all right let me calm down <laughs> that was um that was exciting <laughs> All right, guys, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, man. I'm loving this car. Even more, every single time that I get behind the wheel, I'm like more in love with this thing every single day. So it's a muscle car, but it's like a scalpel through the back roads. And I cannot wait to get this thing on like a road course and also the drag strip. We will be uh, chasing some power in this car and we will be, uh, you know, doing some stuff like that, obviously. Very excited for uh, the build, the progression, the future of this car. And uh, again, welcome all new subscribers to the channel. This is kind of a, a fresh start a new build if you will and i'm excited to see where things go from here through the winter probably do a couple of things but uh going into you know the the spring and summertime guys we're gonna have to turn things up a, a little bit obviously so thinking about changing the wheels and doing some other things here and there uh here probably sooner than later so stick around if you want to see what we're up to but i'll see all you guys in the next video god bless you all see you guys in the next video